Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energetic here back with another video. Man, bro, I need a I need a haircut, bro. I think it's I can't even go out and get one, bro. This stuff quarantine, bro. I can't even get a haircut. But in today's video, guys, we're gonna be looking at the best players under 100 KMT. So I made this video a while back before, but I wanted to give you guys an updated version of it because you know we're in April now and lots of new cards have come out since then. So I'm gonna give you an updated version of what I think are the best players underneath 100 KMT. So uh, yeah, for you, this is for your budget players who just want to pick up some decent guys for your team and you know just be able to afford some of these guys. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna go by positions. So I'm gonna start off with the point guard position and what I think, well, two guys that are both opals, and this is pretty obvious. One is Trey Young, the other is Alex Caruso. If I were to choose one over the other, I would go with Alex Caruso because he's taller. So, I mean, you can get either one of these guys, though, if you really want a cheap opal and, you know, you're on a budget, extreme budget, whatever. So, Alex Caruso definitely would be my pick out of these two guys. But yeah, so we're just going to take a look at these guys, all these players. We're going to look at them in depth and just see, you know, what they're good at and stuff and just how good they actually are. Um, the Alex Russo, he's 6'5", so, you know, he, ha he has a pretty good height to him. He can play the shooting guard as well. But um, just taking a look here, let's compare him to Luca. Or, uh, let's compare him to Oscar. They're both 6'5", right? I think Oscar's 6'5", right? Yeah, they're both 6'5". Let's compare him to Oscar. I mean, I don't think he's better than Oscar. I mean, you see Oscar's got all greens on the shooting but Alex Caruso is a good he's a great shooter he's got the 94 3 he's got the 92 mid-range he's got the 95 driving dunk so he's a better dunker than Oscar Oscar's a good dunker though but he's a better dunker than Oscar um he's got good passing like mid like mid kind of mid 90s on the passing so yeah he's got pretty good passing um his defense is good too he's got 98 perimeter defense he's got 98 steel which is which is actually better than Oscar's so uh, his interior defense is terrible, though. That's the only part. But his rebounding is 78. I mean, he's a, he's a point guard, 6'5". You know, don't really expect his rebounding to be anything crazy. And we are talking about budget players, so these guys are not going to be the perfect cards, but they're going to be solid. So, um, yeah, he's got 96 speed as well. And, yeah, so this card is pretty good. Looking at the badges, he's got 39 Hall of Fame. He's got a lot of the, the ones that you really need, like the catch and shoot, floor general, range extender, He's got Ankle Breaker, Hot Zone Hunter, Dimer, Green Machine, Pick Pocket, Clamps, Pick Dodger, Defensive Leader, Interceptor, Intimidator. He's got a lot of these really good badges. Pogo Stick, Contact Finisher, Fast Break Finisher, Giant Slayer, Flexible Release, Clutch Shooter, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Tight Handle, Space Creator. So this, this Alex Crusoe is definitely a solid card. He's got 15 gold badges. He's got Dead Eye, a Bailout, um, Hot Start, Ice and Veins, Quick Draw. He's got Slippery Opal, Tyler Shooter, Corner Specialist, and Volume Shooter. So pretty good card honestly pretty good card um for those of you who want to get a good point guard who's an opal who's cheap i would recommend getting alex over trey so yeah we're gonna move on into the shooting guard position and for the shooting guard we're gonna go pink diamond and we're, we are going to look at brandon roy now brandon roy um he's actually i think he's one of the better pink diamond shooting guards that are available he's got what 20 hall of fame badges 21 gold. I'm just going to compare him to the Opal Brandon Roy because I don't think it's much of a drop off from the Opal. Obviously, the Opal is better, but I don't think it's much of a difference because he can still shoot. He's got that 92 3. He's got that, uh, he's got a 95 driving dunk. So he, he's still going to be able to shoot. He's still going to be able to dunk really well. He's got the same release, obviously, which is pretty cash. He can still play defense. Not as good defense, but still good defense. Does this one have a shoe on him? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, my, my Brandon Roy has a shoe on him. I think he, I think I put a defensive shoe on my Opal Brandon Roy. But, um, yeah, he's got that good defense, 89 um, perimeter, 85 steel. So, yeah, his he's also athletic. He can uh, 92 speed, 90 speed of ball, 92 acceleration, 95 vertical. So, he's pretty athletic. You know, this, this guy's a solid card for sure, okay? Solid card for sure. We're going to get into the badges. He's got 20 Hall of Fame and 21 gold. And the Opal Brandon Roy has 21 Hall of Fame, so only one more Hall of Fame. He does have 10 more gold, however, so that's what makes him better. But just taking a look here, he has, he's got the essentials. Volume shooter, catch and shoot, tireless shooter, difficult shots, range extender, quick draw, a green machine clamps, dead eye space critter, quick first step. Really, that's all you need, bro. Anything else is just luxury. So, pogo stick on gold, giant slayer, intimidator. Interceptor, stop and go, tight handles, clutch shooter, defensive leader, flexible release, chase on artist, hot zone hunter, 
pick Dodger, corner specialist Slippery Opo. A lot of good badges on this card. So I would definitely recommend you pick up Brandon Roy if you're looking for a shooting guard who's underneath 100K. He goes for over 50K though. So he's probably one of the more expensive cards. But yeah, so I think I do think he's a good option. All right, so taking a look at the small forwards, there's, there's a decent amount of options for you, honestly. But I'm just going to talk about Andrew Wiggins, the card that actually just came out. This card is actually really good. Um, I actually pulled them like three times in my 1 million MT pack opening. If you didn't see my 1 million MT pack opening for the Flash 5 packs, I'll put a card on the screen. It'll be in the top right corner, so it should pop up now. And you can go watch that. I pulled them like three times. So, But he's, he's a pretty good card. I mean, he's not good enough for me to use. But, you know, I have a really good team. This is not, this is, I'm not making this video for me, bro. I'm making it for you, okay? So, he's got a, what, 90 drive, or, well, I'm, I'm chatting, bro. I don't even know, know what I'm talking about. He's got a 93 point shot and 92 mid range. And the three point in the mid range, they go up with your, with, with your coach. So, I use Terry Stott. So, it would go up by four, which would make it a 94, three, a 96 mid range, which is actually pretty solid. Um, his pulse fade is 84, too, which is decent. He's got a 95 driving layup, 99 driving dunk. So he's he's gonna be a great dunker. You know, he's very athletic. His passing is in the 80s, nothing too crazy, but as long as his ball handle is, you know, at that 86, you know, that's what we like to see. Then his defense, great defender, 97 steel, 97 perimeter defense. He's not the greatest interior defender, but he's a small forward, so you know, we don't really expect much from him. And this, like I said, these cards are budget cards, so they're not meant to be the greatest, but they're 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 meant to be really good, but not, you know. The, the most goaded cards ever okay so his athleticism is good 94 speed 93 speed of ball 94 acceleration 99 vertical and yeah bro so he's gonna be doing some crazy dunks that's, that's gonna be in his his main strength is gonna be in his dunks and he's got 30 hall of fame badges like these cards are coming with 30 hall of fame badges nowadays stuff is crazy man so catch and shoot volume shooter difficult shots tyler shooter relentless finisher green machine flexible release tight handles pick uh, pick Dodger, pick pocket, clamps, chase down artist, defensive leader, quick first step, intimidator, pogo stick. He's got really all the badges you need, honestly. He's got bailout on gold, interceptor, space creator, stop and go corner specialist. He's also got range extender, so you know, and quick draw. So this this card is good, man. This card is good, and he goes for underneath 50k. So you know, if you want to pick yourself up uh, Andrew Wiggins for your team, I would highly recommend you do so. And yeah, so we're gonna go into the power forward position, and for the power power forward position do i have it on a conference no the power forward position there are there are a few options for you okay so honestly i would prefer to run centers at the power forward position in this game because they give everybody you know the um that ability to run the center at the power forward just to name one i would go with this brian scalabrini now this brian scalabrini i would rather run him at the small forward keep that in mind me personally i would rather run him at the small forward but that doesn't mean he can't be ran at the power forward because the power forward is his main position and he does have a good amount of Hall of Fame badges. So you can see he's a great shooter, 98, 3, 96 mid-range. He's got a 90 post fade, 80 at post hook, which is decent. And he's uh, he's got an 80 driving dunk, which isn't too bad. His passing is decent for a big man. That's pretty good, you know. He's got good defense all around and he's got uh, good rebounding attributes, okay? There's a difference between good attributes and good badges just because you have good attributes doesn't make you a good rebounder it can help for sure but you also got to be a great rebounder like in terms of the badges so we're going to look at those and i'm going to tell you why i'd rather run them at the small forward but if you really want to run them at the power forward hey you know do you but you know whatever floats your boat but you know he, he's not too athletic really which is kind of expected but um that's really like his weakness but when you come to the badges you know he's going to have all those shooting badges you already know catch and shoot corner specialist all that stuff man the range extender the quick draw and he's got clamps he's got some of those defensive badges intimidator heart crusher hot zone hunter flexible release dead eye post move lockdown now he's got quick first step as well it's just that he doesn't really have the rebounding badges if you see i'm scrolling through you're not seeing you see box where's rebound chaser and where's worm then they're, they're, they're mia so you know that's really all he has that's why i say i'd rather run him at the uh, small forward over the power forward okay but if you really want to run him at the power forward like i said hey bro do whatever you got to do so we're gonna look at some centers now and i think there are a good amount of centers that you can get most of these guys are from the campus legends but i mean bro you can get anybody really i mean alonzo morning is good i'm not gonna go too in depth on any of these guys i'll probably just scroll through them quickly but 
Ones that I always recommend people get are Alonzo Morning. Well, actually, I don't recommend people get Alonzo Morning. I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get them. I'm just saying when people ask me what center should I get, I don't typically recommend them to get Alonzo Morning. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get him because he's good. But when people ask me, my default answer is not Alonzo Morning. It's more of Ralph Sampson, Christian Leitner, or um, who's the other guy from the Canvas Legends? Um, what's this dude's name? Greg Oden. There he is. And then also Manute Ball is a good one. So these are like four guys you can get if you want to include oh and dino is another one like you have a lot of options and any of these guys could be ran at the power forward position that's why i say if you want to have a good power forward um who's under 100k you might as well just pick up somebody who's the center main and run them at the power forward because that i mean literally if you have that if you have the ability to do that you might as well okay so some of you might be thinking well, how about uh yao ming anthony davis these guys are kind of old at this point anthony davis is still he's like solid he's not the best though he did come out in the winter time we're already almost a month into spring so you know you want to look for somebody who's more recent so you know i would say i mean chris weber can be ran at the power forward too i would actually run chris weber at the power forward i think chris weber is a really good power forward player because he's 6'10 chris bosh is not a good not really a good one but dino is probably one of the best ones you can go for 6'11 he can run the center or the power forward for you and let's say you have like somebody who's taller than dino run dino at the power forward run somebody who's taller whoever is taller run him at the center whether that be ralph sampson 74 whether that be manute ball 77 so any of those guys can serve you pretty well that's why i didn't want to go in depth like on a specific card on this one because you can use any one of these guys so my main candidates would be dino in no particular order but dino greg Oden, ralph sampson christian leitner um uh, I was about to say Christian Leitner again. I, I stuck up my fifth finger. Who, who else? Uh, Manu, did I say Manu Bolt? I don't even know, bro. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But Alonzo Mourning is in there too. So but stick away from the Marcus Souls, the Yao Mings, the Will Chamberlain. Don't don't pick up those guys. Don't, the Chris Bosh, Nate Thurman. Don't pick up those guys. Don't pick up those guys. Not anymore. I would recommend, recommend them in the past. Not anymore. Shaq, don't pick them up. Um, yeah, so that's my recommendations to you. I hope that helps, bro. I hope that helps really for you guys who are like struggling to see, you know, who you want for your team and you're on a budget. I hope that helps you guys out. Um, I always recommend having 100 KMT to sit on. So let's say you have 150, 60 KMT. You want to buy one of these guys. Get somebody who's not going to put you below 100 K so you can still snipe opals and get your money back or your MT back. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like. Make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 20K. We're about to hit 13K real soon. So I appreciate you guys for all the love and support, man. Um, We didn't stream yesterday, but we're going to be streaming today. Well, this video will go up while I'm live. So, But we're going to continue the grind, man. The streams are going to continue and uh, they're going to come back. Okay, so every day streaming at 5 p.m. Eastern if you don't already know the schedule. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for all the love and support. Like I said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.